Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be giving you the lowdown on mini cuts. So I want to talk about just what mini cuts are in general, how they differ from your normal fat loss diet, um, if you should actually do a mini cut because they are 100% not for everyone. So if you're on a mini cut at the moment or if you are considering one, this will be extremely, extremely helpful. And on top of that, I want to show you some meals that are perfect for any mini cut diet. So a busy, busy video as always and I'm actually gonna start by jumping right into my first meal uh, which is a perfect mini cup breakfast okay so I'm gonna start by adding 200 grams of white potato that I've chopped up into little pieces to a pan I'm gonna season with some sea salt and some black pepper and then I'm just gonna let them cook away for about 10 minutes okay so 10 minutes have passed potatoes are looking good they are nice and soft on the inside and now I'm gonna add half of an onion half of a green pepper and one small red chili that I've chopped into little pieces, as you can see. And I am gonna let them cook away for a few minutes more. Okay, so everything is coming together nicely, and now I'm gonna add 200 ml of egg whites to the pan. I get these from Bulk, best things ever. I'm gonna season with some smoked paprika, and I am going to scramble everything together. Okay, so this little scramble is looking good, and I am just going to set it to one side for a few moments and then for the final step I'm gonna crack two eggs onto the pan and let them fry away sunny side up. Okay, so what a beauty of a recipe this is. Egg and potato breakfast scramble. I actually pulled this straight uh, from the J. Clark Fitness Nutrition Hub. If you are interested, I will leave the link to that in the description uh, of this video. I'll pop a discount code on screen as well. And you might be wondering, like, why is this a perfect mini cut breakfast? And it's mainly due to the fact that, as well as being very well rounded uh, nutrient wise, you know, you have your healthy fats from your eggs, you have your carbs from your potatoes, you have your protein as well. Um, it's actually really, really voluminous. And that just means that you get quite a big portion for quite a few calories. And as a result, it's filling. And that is pretty important on just your average cut but on a mini cut you could argue it's even more important because a mini cut differs from a normal cut in the sense it's a lot more aggressive so typically you know you take a normal cut quite slow you don't drop calories too low you just take your time with it but a mini cut is a lot shorter in duration typically four to six weeks and seeing as the goal is to drop a significant amount of body fat in that time the drop in calories is usually a little more extreme so it is just important that with the calories you are eating you are putting them to good use and the two main reasons that you opt for a mini cut approach versus just a normal cut is one, uh, if you are on a bulk and you quickly want to drop some body fat before going back into a calorie surplus, uh, and two is if you have an event coming up in the next four to six weeks that you would like to be significantly leaner for. Oh, and one more thing before I forget, as soon as this video goes live, I am opening up five online coaching spaces before taking nobody on for the rest of the summer for the next few months because I am almost at full capacity and I pride myself on the level of one-to-one -one support that I give each and every one of my clients. It is that support and that guidance. That is the reason that my clients see the results that they do. One of the main reasons anyway. But yeah, if you're looking to get in incredible shape over these next few months, but not only that, doing so in a way that's actually sustainable and that you can build on going forward, that is absolutely key, then this is something that you should highly consider. Training, nutrition, daily support, check-ins, all included. And having that kind of plan in place, having that level of support and accountability in place, it is just it is just setting yourself up for success, to be honest. Um, but yeah, what I will do is leave the link to my coaching application form in the comment section below. It will be the pinned comment at 
the top. Uh, make sure you take a little bit of time to fill it out. I will read through all of the applications. I will get back to you. Uh, and yeah, we can have a chat and see where you are at. But yeah, let's go to my next meal. And then I want to talk about how you should set up your mini cut diet. If you are actually suited to a mini cut diet in the first place. Or if it is something um, that will probably just bite you in the ass. Okay, so this recipe won't be ready until a little bit later. But a little bit of prep goes into it. And I'm going to start by adding 300 grams of chocolate protein yogurt to a bowl. You can use the chocolate protein puddings if you want. That is going to be followed by 15 grams of double chocolate informed whey protein from bulk. Get on this, it's unbelievable. Let's mix it in. Then I'm gonna add 10 grams of powdered peanut butter to a glass, add some water and mix it up. Then as you can see, I've lined a lunchbox with some baking parchment. And when you were doing that, it helps to crumple the baking parchment up. It just helps the whole thing stay in place or something. I don't know why, but somebody told me under a YouTube video and it actually works. But anyway, I am gonna pour my yogurt and protein mix in like so. I'm gonna plop on my peanut butter. Then you wanna grab something really small and skinny. Most lads watching this won't have a problem with that. Spread the peanut butter out a little bit. Now I'm gonna add 30 grams of raspberries that I've chopped in half. 15 grams of white chocolate chips. Then I'm just gonna cover the lunchbox with a lid and put it in the freezer for at least one hour to let it set. Okay, so make sure you stick around until the end of the video to see how that recipe turns out. It is a game changer. But yeah, how to set up a mini cut. Let me open up my mini can of Coke Zero, caffeine free. Really, really handy little things. Although my caffeine consumption is terrible at the moment unfortunately. But yeah, I want to cut the bullshit and tell you just exactly what you need to know. So for a normal cut, I recommend dropping your calories maybe 15 to 25 percent below maintenance. Usually I'd recommend somewhere within the 15 to 20 percent range. But for a mini cut, I recommend dropping your calories at least 25 percent below maintenance. So it is a steeper deficit. And for example, let's just say your calorie maintenance is 2,500 calories per day. Then 25 percent below that is 1,875 calories. I'd probably just round it up to 1,900 calories just because it's a nice round number. But yeah, it is that steep deficit. That is what is the kicker for a lot of people because to put it bluntly, you know, a lot of people are just not going to be able to stick to it. I know I certainly struggle when calories get really low. And if that is you, if you know that you struggle with hunger, even in a slight deficit, then a mini cut isn't for you. And I recommend finding that balance instead between what is sustainable and what is actually going to get you consistent results. And that might be 10% below maintenance. It might be 15% below maintenance. Find what works best for you. And honestly, this is a much better approach than pretty much just kidding yourself and trying to stick to a mini cut and making no real progress as a result because you're on track with it for maybe two or three days and then two or three days comes and you go way overboard, you cancel out your deficit completely because your hunger levels are so high and you are just stuck in that cycle and you are not losing any fat. Whereas if you take the more conservative approach, you are gonna be making consistent progress. Yes, it might not be as quick as you would like, but it is still going to add up to a lot more progress over time versus you know, being stuck in that cycle that I just talked about. And then in terms of protein, this will also depend on what is sustainable, what your body weight is, uh, and your body composition as well. But for most people, a protein intake of 1.6 to 2.2 grams of protein per kg of your body weight per day is what I recommend on a mini cut. And if it is sustainable for you, I would recommend trying to consume somewhere closer to that 2.2 gram mark. And you can, of course, consume more than 2.2 grams of protein per kg of your body weight. I most certainly do on a daily basis. And that is just because as well as protein being great for helping you maintain as much muscle as you possibly can in a deficit or even gain muscle, it's also great for keeping you full and satisfied, uh, which is obviously going to be a big benefit when you are on lower calories. But yeah, I want to talk about cardio on a mini cut as well. But before that, let's go to my next recipe. And this is brilliant. It literally takes a few minutes to make. When I was prepping for my bodybuilding show, it is something that I had literally every single day. Um, so yeah, let me show you. Oh, actually. Actually, comment below and let me know if you think that mini cuts are for you or if you have had any success or failures with mini cuts. I'd love to hear 
what people think, especially after you know hearing me talk about them. Uh, so yeah, comment below and let me know. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna add 250 ml of egg whites to a bowl. That is gonna be followed by two slices of ham that I've chopped into little pieces, as you can see. 20 grams of spinach leaves that I've chopped into little pieces. Let's give that a mix so it doesn't just look like a load of spinach. Okay, let's add some black pepper and some smoked paprika and give it a mix. If you don't like egg whites and smoked paprika, then this video probably wasn't for you. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna put it in the microwave until the eggs are cooked. It usually takes about five minutes or so. Okay, there are a few things that I really like about this egg white muffin bowl that's extremely hot, so I need to put it down right away. But yeah, number one is of course the volume. The whole bowl contains 164 calories, which is less than a protein bar. That is a lot more filling than a tiny, tiny chocolate bar. It contains 35 grams of protein, which is unbelievable, but it is also extremely versatile. So I would use this as a snack. So for example, if I was fasting in the morning, but then maybe I wanted something, but I didn't want a full breakfast, so I'd have something like this, or you could actually turn it into a full meal. So for example, you could add a couple of slices of bread or whatever you actually wanted. And as a result, you have a perfect breakfast meal that takes five minutes to prepare or something like that. And it's absolutely perfect. Add some ketchup, add some mustard, whatever you want. Okay, so the final thing that I wanna talk about is cardio. Uh, and there are actually a number of ways that you can go about this, but I wanna talk about what I would personally do. Uh, so personally, I don't have a huge amount of extra time uh, on my hands to dedicate to cardio. I'm sure a lot of you are in the same position. And as a result, it's just a lot more efficient uh, for most of my deficit if I was in a mini cut uh, to come from the nutritional side of things. So going 20 25% below maintenance. However, I do do around 10,000 steps per day, uh, and that really doesn't take much intentional walking on my behalf. I'm quite active generally. I have a dog, for example. I need to take him for a walk uh, on a daily basis. Uh, even from where we park to the gym, for example, like I rack up a few steps there, and they just add up throughout the day. But what I would probably do to get an extra four or 5K per day is one, I would spend about 15 to 20 minutes longer in the gym every morning, uh, walking on the treadmill after a session, and two, uh, I would just extend my evening walk by 10 or 15 minutes, or whatever it takes to actually hit uh, that 15K step goal. So you could do something similar, or if you are not really big for counting your steps, you could take a different approach, and you could, for example, do two to three uh, cardio sessions per week, and they can be uh, slightly longer, lower intensity sessions, like 30 minutes on the Stairmaster, or 30 minutes uh, on the cross trainer at a steady pace, or if you wanted, they could be shorter hit sessions. So for example, 15 minutes of hit uh, on the bike. But just make sure that if you are going down this high intensity route, that it doesn't actually impact your resistance training uh, performance or your recovery because hit does have the potential to do that. It is more physically demanding because it is important that your resistance training remains at a high level throughout your mini cut, uh, just so you can maintain as much muscle as possible. Okay, so before I wrap the video up, let's check out these yogurt protein bars. Keep a foot on the brake in case I lose all control. Yeah, so baby don't lose control. I'm focused on you baby, lately you've been in my aim. I've been reaching out for you and still they're so far away. Looking through the smoke in the mirror. Crazy how I see you so clear. Crazy how I see you so clear. And how you make me smile. And how you make me smile, oh yeah. Now you make me smile, oh baby, I... All right, let's give this chunk a, a taste. Mm. They're honestly so, so good. And you know, it's not like 
every single thing that you eat and every single snack that you have has to be healthy or has to contain some protein but at the same time you know if you're in the mood for a snack but you have a bit of protein to hit or um, you are quite hungry as well then something like a yogurt protein bar is a good option because number one um, it is going to be a lot more filling than you know some jellies or some crisps uh, and number two it's obviously going to contain a decent amount of protein as well and in that whole thing there are 348 calories so you can split it up whatever way you want so for example you could divide it into four portions and then each bar would have less than 90 calories which is a calorie bar all right Evan I'm gonna wrap the video up there I hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure you give the video a big thumbs up and uh, make sure you comment below and let me know as well if there was a certain recipe you enjoyed or as I was saying earlier in the video I would love to hear your thoughts or just your experiences with mini cuts in general but yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you're all keeping well and I will see you in the next video Oh,